we transition to Parks Racing, where today they reopen their doors. It's the beginning of their fall festival today through October 20th. And the feature race today is the grade three named in honor of Smarty Jones. $300,000 on the line, perhaps more important than that, this is the natural local stepping stone for the grade two $1 million Pennsylvania Derby, which is coming up on September 19th. And we're gonna take a look at one of the key contenders for today's Smarty Jones. As you look at the field, a couple of scratches out of that race, King of New York and Tecton. We are joined now on the line by trainer Eddie Plisa Jr., who ships in with Super Colossal. Eddie, thanks very much for being with us here on Horse Racing Today. My pleasure, thank you. Uh, Super Colossal is gonna race with blinkers on for the first time today. What are some of the factors that went into that decision for you? Well, Paco Lopez, who's ridden him a number of times, felt in his last race he didn't give 100%. He could have given a little bit more, whether it was just uh, not full concentration or being um, seeing something that uh, occupied him for a brief second. We're not exactly sure, but I trained him in the blinkers. I've worked him in the blinkers. Uh, he's relaxed very nicely with them. Sometimes you have to fine tune these athletes, so to speak, and that's what we're doing, and we hope it's working. Yeah, it's it's interesting that you say that he's relaxed very nicely in the blinkers. When when Super Colossal was a two-year-old, he was kind of a speed demon. I mean, he wanted to be right out there on the front end. As a three-year-old, he seems to have developed a, a different tactical option. Is that his preferred running style now, is to have a target? I believe so. And a lot of these young horses, that's what they do. They go out there and they give it 100% from the time the gate opens till the race finishes. Uh, when we start stretching them out a little bit, I think what we need to do is to get them to relax and try to find their true running style uh, that complements them the most. And I think with this particular horse, Super Colossal, he's better just sitting off, just off the pace a little bit, having a target. As I handicap the race, Eddie, it, it occurs to me that there's not a lot of very evident speed signed on. Maybe Bluegrass Singer is a horse that wants to go wire to wire You've got the blinkers on, you've got the rail draw. Will it be your intention, will that be your instruction to Paco Lopez is to try to control this thing on the front end? You know, I'm not really big on giving specific instructions to the riders because things happen during the course of a race and I want them to be able to use their own judgment. Um, you know, the jockeys I, I, I try to use are the ones that do have a head on their shoulders. And uh, so it'll be up to him. He does have the number one post. He's going to have to come away from there. I can envision Bluegrass Singer, you know, being sent to the lead. I don't want to get hung up in a speed duel and set it up for somebody else. But then on the other hand, I don't want to slow it down, have Bluegrass Singer two or three in front, everybody waiting to catch him, and then, uh, you know, have a fresh horse when we come at him at the end. So that's where the jockey comes into play. I've got the horse ready to run. He's 110% fine-tuned to the point where he'll give his best effort today. And as long as something out of the ordinary doesn't happen, I expect a big race out of him. We're talking with trainer Eddie Plisa, Jr., who's got super colossal in the grade three Smarty Jones at Parks today, race number 10. Uh, Eddie, in your last couple of starts with this horse, you've run into a couple of very nice Todd Pletcher trainees, made from Lucky and Stanford. Pletcher did not ship in for this race. As you analyze this field, who is your main danger? I would have to say uh, Divining Rod is. You know, he's proven he's run against some awfully nice horses. Um, but, again, you can't discount any of them in a small field like this because strange things can happen. Um, I certainly was glad to see Todd not in the race, but I think everybody pretty much has that same feeling. You know, if, if you don't have to run against Todd, you're in better shape than if you do usually. One last question for me before we uh, let you go. Super Colossal, a son of Warfront out of a King Mambo mare. I'm a pedigree guy. That's very strong for grass top and bottom. And he's sprinted very effectively on turf. Is that in the back of your mind, getting him an opportunity to, to stretch out on grass at some point down the road? Yeah, some point down the road, we're going to have to explore that. Hopefully, it'll be way down the road because if it's way down the road, that means he's running good on the dirt. <laughs> and, uh, you know, so we'll see what happens. The funny thing is about this race today, I have an added incentive. Smarty Jones was trained by my brother-in-law, John Service. So actually, we're going to be having lunch with him and spending the evening with him. So it would certainly be nice to reminisce about 
uh, Smarty Jones with a victory for Super Colossal tonight. Oh, that's outstanding. I had no idea about that, uh, that family relationship. Eddie Plisa Jr., he's got the number one horse, Super Colossal, in the grade three Smarty Jones at Parks. Eddie, good luck to you today and down the road with this one. Thank you very much. Have a great day.